Welcome to the Buffalo Bill Historical Center. My name is Lee Haynes. I'm the Public Relations Director here, and I want to personally welcome you to the Draper Museum of Natural History right here in Cody, Wyoming. The Draper Museum of Natural History is one of five museums in the complex that makes up the Buffalo Bill Historical Center. One of the things about the Buffalo Bill Historical Center is that we can tell you all the stories of the American West. We can talk about the greater Yellowstone region, the nature and history of the greater Yellowstone region. We can talk about the firearms of the West and their impact on the West. We have a marvelous art collection in the Whitney Gallery of Western Art that gives you a sense of the artist depictions of the West and the impact that that had on our understanding of the West. We can talk about the Plains Indians peoples. Um, their stories are marvelous stories and they bring them right up to today, so they're very current. We can talk about Buffalo Bill and his impact on the West and the development of the mythology of the West. All of those things are found here that gives you a great day, a great couple of hours, and a real introduction to the American West. It's my privilege to be your guide today, and I'd love to begin this tour. Let's get started. The Buffalo Bill Historical Center is located in Cody, Wyoming, and of course the town of Cody is named for Buffalo Bill Cody, who was the founder of the town. He founded the town here because he saw wonderful opportunities for a variety of things, and one of those opportunities was hunting. This is a wonderful area for big game, and what you see behind me here is a, an exhibit of Camp Monaco. In 1913, he guided Prince Albert of Monaco on a hunt to the west of here, up in the mountains, and they carved the name Camp Monaco onto the tree you see here. This particular tree is actually the tree from the camp that was damaged in the great Yellowstone fires of 1988. We were able to get permission to bring the tree here and make it part of the exhibit and celebrate the connection between Buffalo Bill, the town of Cody, and Monaco and the Prince of Monaco. We're here in the Plains Indian Museum, which tells the story of the Plains Indian peoples. And the interesting thing about this museum is that it brings those stories right up to today. This is a living, breathing culture, and it's current even today. It's not stuck in the 1880s. And that's a very significant part of the story that we have to tell here. There is art and there are accoutrements, there are shields and masks and claws and all the things of the lives of the people from the 1880s. But there are also those things that are their, part of their lives today and it's a very significant story in that way. You can learn all about the Plains Indian peoples here in the Plains Indian Museum, one of the five museums of the Buffalo Bill Historical Center. One of the things that we're very fortunate to have here at the Buffalo Bill Historical Center is Buffalo Bill's boyhood home. That's the home right behind me here. We also have very skilled workmen here who were able to reproduce the siding and the windows in the exact fashion that they were built in the original building. So we have a real good, solid home here that Buffalo Bill actually lived in. It was transported here in 1933 on the railroad, pretty amazing feat all by itself, and we're lucky enough to have it here for visitors to see. We're now here in the Buffalo Bill Museum, which is the original museum of the Buffalo Bill Historical Center. In 1917, when Buffalo Bill died, his family and friends created the Buffalo Bill Memorial Association to preserve the story of his life. And in many ways, the story of Buffalo Bill's life is the story of the European development of the American West. He lived that life. He was born in 1846. He traveled across the country. He was a scout. He, he's guided for the army. He was uh, a teamster. Uh, he lived the life of the West. And then he took the life of the West, created Buffalo Bill's Wild West, an extravaganza show, a marvelous show that pulled together all of the different stories of the West. And he took it around the country to big cities. He took it to Europe. He let people understand how the West was developed and the excitement and all of the things about the West. In that way, he also really helped start developing the mythology of the West, the cowboy, the scout, the Indian fighter, all of those things that we come to characterize the American West today, Buffalo Bill had a hand in. And you can find out all about that here in the Buffalo Bill Museum. We're here in the Draper Museum of Natural History, which is the newest museum in the five museum complex of the Buffalo Bill Historical Center. And you can see right here in Cody, Wyoming, that we're just 50 miles from Yellowstone National Park, which is actually the world's first national park. And it's a marvelous area that goes well beyond the boundaries of the park. It's the greater Yellowstone region. One of the things that we've done in the Draper Museum of Natural History is integrate the cultural aspect with the natural aspect. What you're looking at here is a bronze sculpture called Freefall by a sculpture na sculptor named T.D. Kelsey. And this depicts 
a buffalo jump, and a buffalo jump was a technique that the Plains Indians used where they drove a buffalo herd over a cliff, the animals died at the base of the cliff, and then they could harvest the bodies, they could, they could save the meat, they could use the hides. In fact, the Plains Indians were uh, very efficient in using every possible part of a buffalo, and this way they could get enough meat for the winter, they could get enough hides for all their housing, they could get all the other things that they would need for life. And this is an artistic representation of that buffalo jump. Here in the Draper Museum of Natural History, you can learn very much about the greater Yellowstone region. You can learn about the wildlife, you can learn about the plant life, the flowers, the geology, all of the geysers, the hot springs, the, the development of the mountains and the rivers. It's a marvelous natural area that you can learn all about here in the Draper Museum of Natural History. We're here in the Cody Firearms Museum. And this is the Boone and Crockett collection room where you see trophy game animals from all around North America. It's a fascinating part of this museum. The Cody Firearms Museum really tells the story of the development of the firearm from the 16th century right up to modern times. And there's a chronological depiction of the, the development of the firearm so people can get an understanding of the technology that goes into it. And in fact, the impact that the development of firearms had on the Industrial Revolution. There, there is a significant impact in that they had to find replaceable parts, they had to learn how to mill steel, they had to, to put together all of these things. And that's a little known part of the history of the development of the firearm. Also in the Cody Firearms Museum, there are firearms that are set up by manufacturers. So if you're interested in all the Winchesters, if you're interested in all the Colts, if you're interested in all the Rugers, whatever the manufacturer might be, you can see that here. And in fact, if you know that your grandfather used a 300 Savage to go hunting back in the early 20th century, we probably have that firearm here and you can bring your grandson here and say, this is the firearm that granddad used when he shot that marvelous elk great way to make connections across the generations and to tell the stories of the American West. We're here in the Whitney Gallery of Western Art, another one of the five museums in the, in the complex of the Buffalo Bill Historical Center. And one of the special things that we have for visitors here are some of the iconic paintings of the Yellowstone area. The painting behind me here is Albert Bierstadt's painting of the Lower Falls of the Yellowstone. Many of these paintings really captured the essence of Yellowstone and this area. And, and it, all of them enable us to see the West through the eyes of painters. We also have significant sculptures, and so we can really get a sense of the West through the fingers, if you will, of the sculptors who depicted the, their thoughts about the West. We have a variety of painters, such as Moran and the beer stop behind me. Uh, we have Charles Russell, we have Frederick Remington, two of the other iconic names of Western art. But we also have contemporary art, and there's an entire gallery devoted to contemporary Western art. And so it can bring that image of the West right up to today. So it doesn't just leave it in the past. And we can look at various themes of the West through art, whether it be the landscape or the wildlife or the cowboy or the way of life and we can pull those themes together and see how artists have depicted them over the years. It's a marvelous insight into the development and the current life of the American West. Thanks for visiting the Buffalo Bill Historical Center here in Cody, Wyoming. My name is Lee Haynes, and it's been my pleasure to host you and give you a guided tour around this wonderful institution. And thanks for watching eCountry Lifestyle.